So, I've already told you which franchises I'm involved in, but I'd like to elaborate on them more and explain to you why I like them. And, um, I would like to start with Harry Potter, and I was hoping to make this, uh, possibly a series of videos, and, um, go into the individual franchises, and just delve into certain aspects of them, and explain why I'm so obsessed with them. Um, so this is going to be the first video, it's about Harry Potter. Enjoy! Ooh, uh, spoiler alert, um, for all of these videos that may or may not actually happen, um, just, if you haven't, uh, watched the movies or the TV shows or the books or whatever it's about, um, do that before watching the video, please, because, uh, they're all really good franchises and you should all, uh, participate, uh, because they're really cool. Thank you! I'd like to start off by telling you about some very special friends of mine, the Marauders. Here's a quick refresher. The Marauders, Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs, are first introduced in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban as the four creators of the Marauders map. By the way, I got this Marauders map, which is really cool by the way, from Harry Potter Film Wizardry, which is really cool and it has lots of pretty pictures. As you might have guessed, Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs are not the Marauders' real names. Mooney is actually Professor Remus J. Lupin, Harry Potter's Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher in his third year. Padfoot is the notorious Sirius Black, who, for the majority of the third book, is considered to be a mass murderer. And Wormtail, or Peter Pettigrew, seems to be one of Sirius's victims. The last marauder is James Potter, Harry's father, who is also known as Prongs because his Patronus was a stag. What I find so fascinating about the marauders is that they all turned out somehow different from what Harry had previously believed. Lupin isn't any old teacher, he's actually a werewolf as Hermione cleverly figures out, and as she always will. Besides the fact that Sirius can turn into a dog, it was Pettigrew, not Sirius, who told Voldemort where James and Lily were hiding. So, we know it was different for Pettigrew, Lupin, and Sirius, but what about James Potter? Well, in the sixth book, Harry found out that James bullied Snape all through his years at Hogwarts. That same rivalry was still there long after James Potter died, when Harry went to Hogwarts under Snape's instruction. And just when you think that Snape should just not take out his problems with James out on Harry, who had nothing to do with it, J.K. Rowling pulls on her heartstrings again and has James and Snape both falling in love with Lily Evans. I think that the Marauders are a great example of how developed J.K. Rowling's characters are, and that's like, they're prevalent throughout the whole book. She keeps on adding more and more depth to every character and uh, developing them more. And I really admire that as a reader and a writer, and I think that's cool, and Harry Potter is so awesome, and uh, I think the franchise is just amazing, and it's all thanks to her. She's amazing. So, thanks for watching this video. I think that's it. Yeah. Bye!